Nationals going on in Boston with these Celtics. One of the more physical playoff series we've seen in a number of years. Kevin's carried this team for a long time. We can't all now be like, why is it not clicking? When you that guy, got to perform. That's the way it goes. He's had a hard time getting it going. We want to keep it that way. I was just thinking too much, to be honest. Man, we know what it is. We're down 3-0. to come out and play. Playoff basketball continues from the borough of Brooklyn. We welcome you from the beautiful Barclays Center on a Monday night. It's game four of the first round of the Eastern Conference playoffs. The Brooklyn Nets hosting the Boston Celtics. It's win or go home time for the Brooklyn Nets tonight. All four of the better seeds in the East are a win away from advancing to the conference semifinals. And in this series, Boston or Brooklyn will match up against either Milwaukee or Chicago. And hi, everybody. We welcome you from Barclays. I'm Brian Anderson along with Stan Van Gundy, the coach. We'll hear from Stephanie Reddy in just a moment. Well, right now, Boston is up 3-0. They could become the first team to advance to round two. And around these parts, Stan, one of the narratives you're hearing is what is wrong with the Brooklyn Nets. But I think what's wrong with the Brooklyn Nets is the Boston Celtics. Well, there's no question. Nobody should be that surprised. The Boston Celtics, the second half of the season, the entire 41 games, the best offense in the league and the best defense in the league. But for Brooklyn, the biggest adjustment they need to make that will help them at both ends is to take care of the ball. The turnovers are killing them, and it's putting Boston out in transition to pick up easy buckets. Same starting fives for both teams that we've seen in each and every game in this best of seven series. Andre Drummond is back in there as the starting center. Steve Nash did tell us before the game that it's that could be a quick trigger. He's had some success with a small lineup. It is 3-0, but the three games only separated by 14 points. There was a buzzer beater by Jason Tatum in game one. Games two and three were close competitive games as well. But Boston has been the closers, and they've got the Nets on the brink of elimination. We're ready to tip it off here in game four. Drummond. And Horford, and away we go with the Nets controlling the opening tip. 